Welcome back, everybody, to the Hearthstone Power Hour, your Monday night tradition. It's so good to be here. So good to see you guys. I'm your host, Twiz. And whether you're watching this on iTunes or YouTube or the download, however it is, don't care how you got here. Just glad that you're here. This is a weekly show where we take a new deck, we break it down, we give you guys some strategies, we tell you, we, you know, tell you how to make this thing work, we take it into the meta, we play a few games, and see what kind of magic we can dig up. But, okay, I, I, I just kind of make the boat look pretty, alright? There's a guy who actually drives it, and that would be the legendary player, my co-host, Mr. Sexy Stutter himself. What's happening, brother? Dude, I broke my phone last weekend. Oh. Did you really? It's like a little tiny crack. It's a little tiny crack. It's like, it's a, I don't even know. It's so small and this phone cannot handle it. <laughs> it's okay, Man, dude. It's all right. So hey, frustrating. my two year old so has a little tiny crack, so it's all right. Hey, all I'm saying is don't drink and text. <laughs> Words to live by, ladies and gentlemen. Words to live by. So anyways, <laughs> anyways, anyways. So how's, uh, how's your week in gaming, dude? Everything good? I'm rank four. That's not bad. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. That's for sure. Okay. Okay. I, uh, yeah, you know what, guys? I have not made very much progress on the ladder. Um, uh, I was out of town, like, all last week. And it was, I have not made much progress on the ladder. I was late in getting the, the Patreon deck of the month out. Or, yeah, and, and. So I'm sorry about that. I got it out today. So if you didn't see it in your Patreon messages, let me know and and I'll I'll hit you with that. But it was a ramp druid deck. Now what I will tell you guys is, being that I mean I would screw up a one car funeral if I if if I had the opportunity. Um, I gave you a 28 card deck list, and that is because I forgot two sludge belchers. Okay, so those of you who have that deck list, throw in two more sludge belchers, and you will have the complete deck list. So I apologize for that. It's it is what it is. I'm not gonna lie. I actually typed it on the airplane, so, and I'd love to say that it, that like some fat guy that let out a four hour fart was sitting next to me and distracting me, but it was my wife, and so I wasn't. Is what it is. And yeah. So, anyways, it's there, um, and you can get yourself a deck of the month from Twiz and Stutter um, to tackle the meta, uh, at being a either $1, $5 or anything like that. So speaking of which guys, here's what I want you to do in case you missed last week's episode. Okay. We are doing a thing. All right. With doghouse systems, we have updated our patreon.com page, patreon.com slash HS power hour. We are shooting for 1200 bucks kids. And I'll tell you why $1,200. We hit that mark. We are going to start buying doghouse systems, gaming rigs for you. Okay. Get this. I mean, think about it. If you donate $5, okay, uh, every other month we have a drawing for the computer, you donate $5, which means if you had to wait an entire year, then you paid $60 for what is actually over a $1,200 gaming rig, all right? I'm kicking a little bit in extra for, for, for me to take care of you. Um, and so, I mean, who doesn't want it? And, and, you know, is it the very tip top of the line? No, those are like $3,000, but this is a free, basically a free computer, or you paid you know, 60 bucks for it and whatever. So um, anyways, head over to HS or uh, patreon.com slash HS power hour. Every $5 donation gets your name put in the hat for uh, the computer when we finally reach our goal, but you get other things. Okay. You get a deck list of the month. Um, we have uh, at, at, at like the $500 mark. We have free for alls. Check it out. Check out the page. We have so much stuff going on. It's all going back into your pockets. And this kind of, this kind of funding helps, fun things like guess the legendary and we build up a little bit more money we're going to start giving away you know gaming mice and keyboards and stuff it just it, it all goes back to you guys okay so there's no reason not to give and every time you put a five dollar donation in your name gets put in the hat once so ten dollars gets you twice 15 three times etc etc so um we do have some have some rock stars this whoops wrong one we do have some rock stars this week okay our patrons for this week um that that made any type of donation to our our site is Brian F, Christian V, Dodge, who actually updated his uh, pledge. Bill, Shane, Elric, Thomas, Luke, and Tim. Guys, you are rock stars, absolute rock stars, and uh, we cannot thank you enough uh, for for supporting our show and the things that you guys are doing. Um, so make sure that you guys, if, if you want to see what kind of, what kind of quality doghouse systems puts out, go to doghousesystems.com. 
Um, it'll be, you'll see, you'll see right off the bat exactly what we're doing. I mean, we're not going, we're not going chintzy on this. So anyways, um, and if you'd like to support Blizz Pro as a whole, you can. Um, all the content, all the Blizz Pro people, we all do this for free. We all do this, you know, just to better the community and stuff like that. Go to patreon.com slash Blizz Pro um, if that's something that interests you. Because, they, I mean, Blizz Pro covers Heroes, Hearthstone, uh, WoW, everything, all of it. Heart, uh, yeah. So, a um, whole bunch of stuff going on. If you want to support, um, you know, it's free content and every little bit helps. Because there are behind-the-scenes costs involved. So, um, okay. We did that. I successfully screwed up the intro and I talked about all that stuff. I say we play some Hearthstone, dude. Let's talk about let's talk about the deck of the week, shall we? We shall. But uh, you shall share screens. Oh first. yeah. Oh yeah. That's gonna screw this up. Hang on a minute. I got I forgot to share screens with Stutter. That's how we do this, guys. Whoop, share screens. Oh, and there goes Stutter. Share window. Sorry. I can't believe we didn't see this ahead of time. Okay, now I probably have to readjust it. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Amateur bullcrap. Right here on the Power Hour, guys. So, yeah, pay us money for our outstanding production. <laughs> oh, oh. hate my life sometimes. Okay, dude. You got her? You all good? You all clean? I got her. I got her. All I right, got man. Her. Let's, let's break it down. Break it down. What do we got? All right. We got uh, we got two zombie chows. No, one zombie chow. Sorry, we changed it. We made a last minute change. One zombie chow. We got one acidic swamp ooze. These acidic swamp ooze the combat early aggro basically weapon decks so basically hunter um mm -hmm. zombie chow is the combat you know basically early aggro such as mage yeah and hunter. and it's a solid it's a solid two drop if you're playing against a druid or a warlock you know mm -hmm. like you said so yeah and it you know fiery <laughs> war axe you know what oozing a fiery war axe is always pretty quality mm -hmm. absolutely and we got a uh, we got an iron beak owl because every deck needs at least one silence these days mm-hmm you could even play two if you wanted to, but we'll get to that later on. Uh, we got two uh, knife jugglers. Just, I mean, it's kind of like an earlier board presence. Um, we got two shielded mini bots. That's awesome. Knife juggler also has some sweet synergy with muster for battle, as you've seen before. Mm -hmm. We have one cog, cog hammer. hammer. I always want to say cog master, and I have no <laughs> idea why. <laughs> Because you, you are the cog twist. master. You are. What's that, dude? <laughs> so get your mind out of the gutter. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he is master of his cog. That's right. Don't you forget <laughs> okay. it. Um, so, cog hammer is a nice little card. I don't think we had it last time. We had, um, oh, what was the other one? Three mana. The, oh. One five. Uh, I can't, I can't remember. Sword Justice. Sword Justice. Sword Justice. SOJ. There you go. Yep, the Saj. The old Sajarino. Yep, we had it. Yeah, the Sajarino. The cog and the Saj. Yep. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is a little better for against aggro because, first off, it has two attack. So, you, you kill that knife juggler. Um, second off, it gives, obviously, Divine Shield and Taunt. So, it really makes Zombie Chow worthwhile. So, if they play like a 3 4, you have. You have a zombie chow, you play cock hammer, you hit it with your face, you hit it with a zombie chow, you still have a zombie chow and a 2-2 weapon. Mm -hmm. um, so you got two muster for battles. Muster for battle is just... Oh, I'm sorry. What is it? Muster for battle. That's right. It's so it's <laughs> so moving. It's so moving. So, so we have... um, We got two of those. Just because three one ones for three plus a one four weapon is awesome, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. It's um, I mean, it combos well with knife juggler. Combos obviously with quartermaster, as you'll see later on. Yep. Those two, obviously, we don't have SOJ in there, so it doesn't combo with that. But you could, if you wanted to, put in uh, sword of justice. It's a little better versus like uh, control, a little worse mm -hmm. versus aggro. And you one of the reasons I suck at paladin is because I forget. That last bottom, that last sentence, the bottom line, equip a 1 4 weapon. I get so anxious. I got a knife juggler out there and I'm just going to muster for battle and it replaces my true silver champion. You know, and it's like crap. Now I, I went from a 4 1 that's going to heal me for two to a 1 4 <laughs> that's going to probably damage me for more. So 
anyways, make sure you guys use your weapon before you muster for battle. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times you're overriding, like, cock hammers <laughs> with muster for battle, or you're overriding muster for battle weapons with, like, any other weapon. And that's not a big deal, guys. Don't even worry about that. But it happens. You have so many weapons in this deck that you pretty much always have one. Um, we have two Eldor Peacekeepers. This is just a great card. It's a tempo card, and it just mm -hmm. makes the other people, like, it does so well against, like, Druids with the, the inner bait. It does so well against everything that has, like, four attack or more. You should never feel bad about Eldor Peacekeepering. If it has even three attacks, like, that's fine. Yeah. Um, it basically just turns them into a dude killer. Yep. Which is kind of a pain in the butt because you like your dudes, but at the same time, it really negates one of their big threats. Um, so we have a BGH, just because everybody thing. everybody packs Doctor Boom. Everyone packs Doctor Boom, plus it gets, does well against giants too. Mm -hmm. Rag. Um, we got an Earthring Farseer. This used to be a MCT. Mm-hmm. But I changed it to an Earthring Farce here because I didn't get MCT off enough, and I found Earthring Farce here was far more valuable. Just yeah, just valuable. Um, mm -hmm. Then we got two True Silver Champions. This is just a great card. I mean, ever since day one, it's been one of Paladin's best cards. Mm -hmm. The other Paladin best card is uh, Consecrate. Consecrate is just it's one of the best AOEs in the game. The came there's not enough like can be said about that. We have a Kazen Mystic. Now this is a we've talked about this like for like the last four weeks. It's really a flex card. So if you want to play more tempo, you play um, the four three piloted shredder. Um, you could play um, Defender of Argus. Defender of Argus would be great in that spot as well because it combos well with Muster for Battle. Um, you could play. Oh, what's the other four drop? Oh, um, the four two that gives you card draw when you die. Cult master, cult master. Yeah, right? the cult I'm master. Blanking, guys. So cult master would be another great card to play in that you gotta, spot. Yeah, you got to trade in some dudes, get some. Yeah. Yep. Um, even if dark iron dwarf wouldn't be bad. Enhanced mechano wouldn't be bad. Like this is just such a flex spot. You can maybe even play, make an argument for Jeeves if you wanted to, but I would suggest not making an argument for Jeeves. Yeah. 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 Sengin's um, another Spellbreaker. Yeah, Sengin or Spellbreaker, both of those two things. Maybe even a Violet, Violet Teacher, even though you don't have that many spells, so I wouldn't suggest that. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, all those are pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Healbots. Um, Yep, we got a heal bot. This is just basic combat aggro these days. Um, it can definitely be replaced with something better, like a uh, like a Harrison Jones. If you're seeing more control or playing against a lot of warrior, it could see like five drop is pretty cluttered these days. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, you could play tons of stuff, but sure. right now we have an anti heal bot because we want to basically really combat that aggro. <laughs> play style and uh, we, what i well, found is once you get to once you get paladin to turn eight nine ten and beyond that is where they really start taking over that is where they are just tough to kill unless you get the right cards at the right time so this just keeps buying you time to get there mm -hmm. um you got a lotheb lotheb is just captain greenskin uh, oh captain greenskin this is a fun card. This used to be a Harrison Jones, but we decided, hey, let's do Greenskin instead because yeah. Greenskin is more fun. Because we have and Muster for Battle, we have Truce Over Champion, we have Tyrion in here, we have enough weapons in this deck. Yeah, and a Cog Hammer. <laughs> yep. So yeah, Captain Greenskin kind of makes really a good fit. Mm-hmm. A little more tempo, -y, but I like it. I like it. I mean, it just it's a fun card too. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got a Lotheb. Lotheb is... I mean, he's just awesome. We just talked about it. We have a Quartermaster. Only one this time. We used to play two, but I found too often you get stuck with like a Quartermaster in your hand. We're like, oh, this is so annoying. You can't even play him. Yeah. What am I going to do with play him as a 2-5 or a 3-3 three, three and a 2-5? So you don't... I kind of took that out. I took one out. Um, Ruz33 in the chat room says, why... One heal bot and one earthen ring. Why not two heal bots? 
the reason is is two heal bots is you, you clutter up your five drop even more and we're we already have a cluttered five drop. Um, also Earthling Farseer fits in, you can place it play it as a three drop and feel okay about it. Um that's those are the two reasons. Okay. Plus you can target Earthling Farseer so you can heal him another minion. Though that doesn't happen that often, it's still a nice option to have. Absolutely. Um we got two sludge belchers combat that aggro we have a uh, sylvanas sylvanas has been phenomenal these days in, in this meta so i would never take her out <laughs> but you if you wanted to you could do a piloted sky golem mm -hmm. no yeah piloted sky golem that's a six drop or uh i would not suggest karen because piloted sky golem is a better karen um you could do i mean just any fun six drop you want hogger maybe or even sunwalker Sunwalker could be good. Or Toshley isn't bad. Um, mm -hmm. Toshley, I mean, I think Sylvanas is better than all of those. Yeah, so oh, absolutely. But if you don't have Sylvanas or you're looking to replace it with something else because she just isn't working out for you as well, you know. Mm -hmm. But she, she does make for a great silence bait, you mm -hmm. know, to keep your, keep your Tyrion protected because most people still just run one owl. So... Yep. Except for tonight, so, we're going to run into everybody that plays four owls and two spellbreakers and whatever. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we got a black knight. This is the combat druid because druid's very popular on the ladder, and the black knight just everyone seems to play their druid of the claws in taunt automatically. So you just automatically black knight it, and you're like, yay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you got a doctor boom. It's Doctor Boom, guys. Yep, there's it's nothing, yep. Nothing there's to nothing said. to see. Yep, nothing to see here. Uh, we got a lay on hands. This is just card draw plus health. It's just you see one in every paladin deck almost. Um, if you wanted to get rid of Doctor Boom, guys, you could play the seven mana five six the paladin card. It's a basic card. I forget what it's called. Uh, Sorry, then I'm you appeasing got, the chat room. What? I'm a, I was I was appeasing the chat room. Okay. <laughs> um, then we got Tyrion. Tyrion. Enough said. Yep. Enough said. So, cool. All righty. I say we go to it. Um, yeah, I hit rank. Uh, I hit rank fifteen. I hate to say it, guys, and you're gonna hate me for it. I hate myself for it. But I played Mech Mage <sighs> to get there. I mean, I've only played a handful of games, but I went from 18 to 15 with two losses with Mech Mage. I went and talked. I mean, I, I prayed about it, and um, Jesus stuck his head through the clouds and was like, sorry, dude, I'm not forgiving you. And so I don't know what to do now. But anyways, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, I'm going to turn on the sound. Master Volume. There we go. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I like this. I like this. Okay. You can make an argument for keeping True Silver Champion, but against uh, Paladin, it's not really that good. Oh, man. <laughs> Play Shielded Minibot. Yeah. It's good. Tyrion is really good in this. We really want a muster for battle right now because we can just trade with all of his minions when he does stuff. Mm -hmm. Wow, man, swag! We might lose right now. Uh, play BGH. I've got the beast in my sights. Take out the uh, the two one. Yep. Weapon ready. Oh. Wow! Guy's doing work. The light protects me. What? Mad respect right now. Wow! Wow! This guy has like the nut draw. Uh, keep knife juggler and dude up. Yeah, dude up. <laughs> 
Oh. Wow. Six, 10, 11. Oh, my God. We're getting rocked right now. We are getting rocked. And I don't even mind because it's like, okay, Hobgoblin. Dude's making it work. Dude's I mean, making it at work. At the same time, if you don't draw Hobgoblin, guys, this deck is kind of... Yeah, man. it's pretty well useless. <laughs> wow. Want to buy Consecrate. Ooh, that'll work. Dude up. Cock Why don't I swamp ooze? And cock hammer. Because the duding does the same thing. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. Because that swamp ooze kills more. Okay. Yeah, yeah do that. Let me think. Kill the 2 1, obviously. Definitely. Justice. He's gonna have another hobgoblin. Wow! Wow! Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Yeah, this is game over. This guy just rocked us. This guy just rocked us. Selling soul for consecrate. Yeah, I don't even think consecrate's gonna help us right now. It wouldn't. No. Nope. All right. Just end turn. No, nope, that's it. Yep. I'm going out with style, dude. Justice. Going out with style. Hey, you know what? I've tried Hobgoblin decks in the past, and maybe it's the Twizlock. I don't know, but I never draw Hobgoblins. You know, it's like I, I've tried them in Handlock, or not in, in, in Warlock, especially because you can tap and try and tap into a Hobgoblin, and finally when I get one, I have like... 87 cards in my hand, and I'm down to 3 health. Ooh, this guy's name is Ratboy. I would keep uh, Earthring for us here, and that's yeah. it. Muster for battle, yes. Ooh. If we can hold out... Muster for battle, turn three. I kind of want to coin out shield and minibot, though. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Do it up. Reporting for duty. Mm-hmm. To my side. <laughs> Where are you going? All right. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to attack face with the 1-1, one, one, and then we're going to try and attack... Or no. We're going to attack face attack with the... Attack face with the 1-1. One, one. Yes. yes. Attack face with the 1-1. One, one. And then we're going to quick the cog hammer. Yep. And we're going to smack his 4-2 with this. Yep. Weapon ready. And go face with the, uh, the cog hammer. Yeah. For justice. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Attack with the two two. Mm hmm. Weapon ready. And then I say we earn the ring farseer. No, no, no. Go face with the weapon and then. Um, do 
go face with the weapon, and then do muster for battle. For justice. And then that's going to give us a Captain Greenskin next turn. Yep, or a Lotheb if we want that instead. And you got to remember, he just played two explosive traps, so he really has no way... Who? Quartermaster. I was going to say. Yeah. Two arms, men. And then just go face with your weapon first. For justice. The battle. Yep. Okay. The battle. Kind of should have. Kind of should have thought about it and waited, because we could attack with the two five next time and then just use it again. Yeah, but we we won't. We don't have a plan in using that again. We're gonna use like Lothab or other stuff like that. Wow. Okay. When you got to use both kill commands on my three threes, now we're gonna you're use host. green skin, right? No, no, we're gonna use um true silver. Yep, true silver. Wait, actually, attack the face of the one damage dagger. Oh yeah. For justice. Yep. It's gonna look really weird. Play and, true silver. Yep. And then dagger up, or and then dude up. Yeah, dude up. And that's setting us up for a five three, basically an ash bringer. Mm hmm. Next turn. That heals us. Mm hmm. Unless he plays some big minion, then we'll just uh, Elder Peacekeeper it. Um. So I would green skin right now. Drink up the army. Uh, kill his one doggy. Uh, kill his doggy with your face. For justice. Yep. Oh. Yep, and then we're gonna trade this into here and get a mm -hmm. freezing trap. And then dude up. Yep. Yep. Because we're gonna. And then we can either freezing trap a green skin. <clears throat> we can freezing trap a green skin and get a six three. Hmm. Longbow, eh? Hit him with a face with the one one. The battle. Uh, and play Earthring for us here in Lothab. My eyes are open. I see. And then go face with your everything, including your weapon. For justice. Yeah. I think we're sitting in a good spot right now. Mm-hmm. Eight cost unleash. like a face hunter playing control or something or how does this work I don't know but I would, I would say just go face with that with your die with your weapon go Lord face justice. uh just lay on hands and then play zombie chow You just play zombie chow and go face with that. Duty calls. Yeah. What's he gonna kill? Kill zombie chow and he still has zero cards in his hand. That's why we're playing with zombie chow. It's like just a. This is certainly an interesting deck this guy has. I let the dog out.
Um, I would. We can either Tyrion, or we're gonna knife jug knife juggler. Oh no no, knife double knife juggler monster for battle. We only have one. Oh, we do have yeah. Boom. There you have it. The double knife the double monster for battle <laughs> lethal. <laughs> it shouldn't even be legal. It shouldn't even be legal in, in the in the lower forty eight states. It really shouldn't. Oh man. That was a fun time. I always forget how many knives we're throwing, so I'm always like, oh man, we missed we're off lethal by one. <laughs> <sighs> Boy. Yeah, we didn't drop that swamp. We didn't draw that swamp ooze until later in the game. That would have been cool against the. Uh... I will fight with. I kind of want to keep um, True Silver Champion in this matchup. Get rid of Sludge Belcher. Keep uh, Shielded Mini Bot. Okay. That win was brought to you by Hee Haw. It was, but we're not going there just yet, kids. It was, but we're not going there just yet. <sighs> I don't want to play Monster for Battle for Tempo here. Um, I gotta play Shielded Minibot. Yeah, definitely should play Shielded Minibot right now. Yeah. We won't play Monster for Battle for. <coughs> that guy. Play Monster for Battle. Reporting for duty. And hit it with your face and that. Yep. For justice. Weapon ready. Job's done. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen the old injured blade master um, ancestral infusion dealio like for a minute. Consecrate. Definitely consecrate. And just go face with everything. Yeah. That's that. <laughs> All right. We haven't had a close game yet. No, we haven't. You're right. We absolutely have not. Absolutely have not. I'm trying to jam as many games in this hour as we can. Because it's like, okay, it's a Hearthstone Power Hour. We usually stop at like 10.30, but we usually get a little bit of a late start. I don't know. So I'm all about jam-packing some serious games. And wait till you guys hear the community thoughts. OMG. Wait till you hear the community thoughts segment we've got. I will fight with honor. Um, I'll get rid of True Silver. I really like the fact that you can trade that into something and then play Cog Hammer and get the, the, the bubble back and it's it's really nice. Yeah. It happens way more than it should. Come on. You're killing me, Smalls! I kind of want to coin out Shielded Minibot. Then next play, we have to do nothing but dude up. That's all right. But I really want... Okay. I really want the shield or the taunt to go on. Heels up. 
I really wanted the taunt to go on the 2-2. Two -two. If it's... If it's handlock, then... It won't matter. This deck actually has trouble with handlock. I bet it does. I wonder. Just do it up. Reporting for duty. Weapon yep. ready. I can ease your pain. Swag. Run the 2-2 two -two into that. Think, ooh, we could do that instead. Um, don't cockhammer yet. Run the 2-2 two -two into that. Into the 1-4? Yep. Weapon ready. Uh -huh. Now cockhammer cock it. I don't know. I got, I got nothing. I got nothing. Well, I do have something, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> like the past three games, the past three games have been brought to you by, you named it, you got it, Hee Haw, okay? Now look at Look at the bottle. Just look at it. It's got three E's. It's not even spelled right. But once you untwist that cap and you open it up and you smell it, if it doesn't burn the nose hairs out from, out from inside of your nose and you actually drink it, as it goes down and burns the insides of your stomach and puts you to your ultimate death, I want you to think back about the time where you had three concedes in a row just for playing really not important cards and... I want you to just think about it and just keep drinking and just keep keep rocking it out. It's it, it you know what to do. You know it just it's it's bad. <laughs> All right, I don't even. Oh. I mean, I think it's just a bold strategy. Oh, yeah, you're. It's a bold, a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Yeah, yeah. So, chat rooms, chat rooms blowing up. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the magic of the deck, guys. Uh, that it's 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 a little op because it just makes your opponents concede. It might be because I was, I don't know, I, I would maybe it was taking too long. I don't know. I don't know. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Potentially drinking hee haw is like conceding on turn three. <clears throat> so, anyways, we'll do that. And also, if you're a uh, a patron um, of uh, of the HS Power Hour. Um, I'm mailing out this week um, cans of Hee Haw to our, uh, to our supporters. So if you so feel like sending me a shipping address, send it to podcast at blizzpro.com if you're a supporter. Actually, send it to me on Patreon. That would be easier. Zombie Chow. Keep Zombie Chow and Cog Hammer. Yeah. yeah. So the trouble with Twiz sending out that stuff is um, he needs actually to be certified to mail radioactive material. Right. I, I yeah. need to know if I have hazardous papers that I can, that I have to yes. ship ship with it. Bring out your dead. Wow, this guy didn't get the memo. Okay. <laughs> so I'm thinking turn one, zombie chow. Yep. And then turn two, we're going to coin out the old cogarino. Absolutely. Oh, are you gonna kill that thing, dude? No. All right, so just uh, coin cog hammer. Yep. Yeah. For justice. No, no, no. Why not? Because you could take kill it with a divine shield and be easy. But he's but he can't kill this now. He couldn't kill it anyways. You would have killed the the three two with the divine shield. Okay. All right. I should have waited. You would have taken two less health. I should have waited. All right. So should I clear one of these or go face? I I would. Well, now just go face. No, clear one. Up. Clear one. Clear one. Okay. Yeah. All right. I should have listened. I should have listened. I mean, usually, dude, when you equip a weapon, 
you take out the biggest threat and let them wear out whatever. Mm. I'll play Knife Juggler. And then just clear that with your zombie chow in your face, unfortunately. Ah. It kind of sucks, but oh well. Yeah, if we didn't have an Earthen Ring Farseer in our hands or a True Silver, I'd feel less warm fuzzy about it, but... Mm -hmm. Please just hero power and pass. Play true silver champion and kill that one one. For justice. I'm thinking depending on what he does, I'm thinking next turn will probably be Farsi or Minibot. Probably. I kinda wanna consecrate. Yeah. Him. I kind of want to consecrate the snot out of that, too. Consecrate it. Think so? You think that's it? Eh, no, no. Play Shield Minibot and Earthring for us here. My eyes are open. Red alert. This is alright. Yeah, yeah, this is alright. We can always consecrate next turn. Should I sit on the weapon? Yeah, don't go. Oh. Don't, don't attack yet. I'm afraid he could Houndmaster that thing. But even still, I mean, what? Oh, consecration value. Consecration value. Ooh, consecration value. Yep. So you want me to bump that 2 3 with my yeah, shielded mini bot? It. Yeah. Weapon. Bump it. Just a little bumper ruski. Yeah. Sit on the uh, sit on the weapon. Mm. Sit on the weapon. Okay. See, I, I'm always yeah. a little torn about going face with the weapon versus just sitting on it because you know when you're at 21 health, that's a little bit harder than when you're at 19 health to kill me. You know. Oh, I would play on uh, Iron Beak Owl on that. Yeah. You know, Play Sludge Belcher after that. And trade him in. Uh, I kind of want to take it out with your face. But I think I more just want to ignore it. I think we need to clear it because we have too many... That, that's Unleash the Hounds value. Okay. Weapon ready. Yeah. Heal. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can... I can see either way. Depends on how aggressive you want to get. I usually kind of go for face because the Sludge Belcher trades really well with the 4 3. Of course, not when that happens. Hmm. I think you play Lothab. Okay. And then what? Yep. Dude up. I wonder. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He needs seven damage, dude. That's two kill commands. With Lothab on the board? Oh, that's right, Lothab, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, good call. I see. Dude up. Trade the two one with the three five. And go face with the year two uh, one. Excuse me. Should I go face too with this thing? No, not yet. <clears throat> Depends on how control he is, but if he he should hit the five or the three three with that. 
No, you shouldn't. Wow. If we draw a Consecrate and now we're going to win. Ooh, that's equally good. Uh, Antique Helobot? <laughs> Eldor Peacekeeper, his right, Savannah Jaime. He's the 6 5. The 6 5, yep. Trade in the 2 1 into his 6 2. Um, Truce over one of the 2 2s. Yep. For justice. And then 5 5 into the 2 2, and then 1 to the face. Yep. Yep. And after that, we're just gonna probably, cause he probably end up going face. I see you. Well. Mind if I roll need? Hmm. Sylvanas is pretty good. That'll work. Yep. And we'll just do it up after. Mm -hmm. I have no time for games. Take out his 5-5. Five, five. Yep. And go face the other two. Hey, at least we at least he hasn't conceded. I mean we got that going for us. It's true. Mind if I roll need? Having a one one Savannah high mean is kinda like going to school and kinda forgetting your underwear, you know? It's just you're embarrassed, but I mean it is what it is, I don't know. Uh 3-3 three, three into the 2-1. Running a program. Hug. Mm -hmm. I think that's Snake Trap. Nope, Freezing Trap. Uh, land hands yourself. <laughs> In public. Uh, just drop Knife Juggler. I'm gonna go face. No reason go not face. to. Let none yep. survive. The battle. Actually, knife juggler was a misplay. We should have told or should have hero powered, because if he trades that in, he gets a um. Oh, he's not gonna do that. that in. Um. Drop a uh, sludge belcher. Yep. Yeah. Dude up. Dude Drop up. acidic swamp poos. Yep. Reporting for duty. Yep. And then go face with the five five. Yep. Survive. That way we've got consecrate lethal. Plus he has to kill that. So he's going to Trade in the two two. Try to get off a uh, freezing trap. Yeah. Wow. He's got to kill that 1-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. Unless he got explosive trap. Oh. Monster for battle is lethal. Boom is also probably lethal. He has 10, 12. I would just drop Dr. Boom. No, I would drop. Yeah, I would drop Dr. Boom. 
He's only used one kill command. Let me he has to draw it, though. So he has 10 damage. He has to draw that. Or, or else he has to risk Dr. Boom, and it's going to kill him. So if we drop Dr. Boom, and we go face with the Sylvanas and its explosive trap, he's dead. Let me think. Or we go the safe route with anti keelbot and dude up. Hmm. But he can clear the board and he'll win next turn. We want we need to win next turn. Okay. Dr. Boom is the play. <laughs> and then dude up. Dude up. Don't attack. Reporting for duty. We could attack, but it's fine. Don't attack. Move quickly. <coughs> That's 15. Well, you got lucky. It's fine. <laughs> I told you. The heal bot. The heal bot would make us lose next turn. S the heal bot would make us live this turn, and we would kill him this turn. Because he would kill the heal bot. He would kill the heal bot. He would kill the heal bot, and then he'd be fine, and Sylvanas would be sitting on the thing, and he'd kill the 1-1, one -one, and they'd just have an extra turn. With all those minions on board, and he'd win that. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. We're going to have to review that one. We're going to have to review that. We're going to take that back to the press box, kids, and because, see what we think of that. Because if, you, if you're just letting them have all these minions on board, you can't do that against the hunter and win. So you have to basically win as soon as possible. Gul'dan. This guy's name is Damn Nightmare. Shall be mine. I will fight with honor. Let's see what he mulligans. He only mulliganed one card. I would keep Consecrate. And keep uh, Elder. Yeah. King? I greet you. Well met. Job done. Hmm. Ooh, there we go. Shields up. Red alert. Just dude. Face. Reporting for duty. Weapon ready. He's not trading anything right now, so he's basically just saying, "Hey, I'm gonna hit you in the face for no damage because yeah. this thing's gonna heal us for five. Oh, uh, play zombie chowin, dude. Should I take out the zombie chow or no? Mm hmm Yeah. Weapon ready. Number of things getting Iron Beak out old. One. There we go. The battle. Yep. And then just do it up and face. What we needed was that Kazan Mystic, and we would have won. Sylvanas? I guess Sylvanas, yeah. It kind of sucks if he just siphon souls no it. I kind of almost wanted a true silver champion and then Captain Greenskin next turn. That probably would have been a better play, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Dude up, true silver. And hit his face with true silver. For justice! Reporting for duty. Yeah.
That's actually okay because that Siphon Soul. I know he's got another one. I would just drop Tyrion. Should I drop Tyrion and use my 4 1? Yeah. Yeah, do that. Put your faith in the light. For justice. On the 4 Niners' face. I'm thinking. 4 9 would probably be better. Probably be the smarter play. Because we don't want to put him in Molten Giant range so soon. For justice. Even though we have the Elder Peacekeepers for it. Yeah. yeah. He has to Iron Beak out all this, though. Or else he loses pretty much. Come on. Come on. I wonder. Hmm. I wonder if 10 cards in this. No, he's 9. Yeah, 9. I think he's thinking about silent. Er, he's hey, he shouldn't be thinking it. about silent signet. If he has a silence, play so it. Many like, he's crazy if he doesn't have a uh, if he has a silence and he's not playing I think it. He's, I, think he's, I think he's got a siphon soul that he's thinking about. Should I use this or not? Nope. Um, play Eldor Peacekeeper on the 8-8. Eight, eight. Eight, eight. Take out the 5-5. Five, five. Mm -hmm. Don't test me, child. And just dude. Reporting for duty. In the siphon soul it. Oh, he's gonna kill it. Green skin. Mm-hmm. Green skin. Should I knife juggler? No, just green skin. And then, dude. No. Reporting for and I think you just go face the everything. No, don't play that. Last warning. For justice. Go face with this. Yep. Because if he plays two molten giants and taunts up, we have the black knight, and we can elder peacekeeper the other one. Yeah. Oh, he has Molten Giants. I didn't know that. My shield for Argus! Have at it. <laughs> Black Knight, one of them. None. Elder Press keep the other one. Hit it with your face. For justice. Yeah. And trade in the Alright. There you go. We were on a win streak too until that stupid hunter. Dang. Right there. Right there. So I shouldn't get all salty. Now guys, look. Okay, I, I'm so glad that you hung out for this because this is going to be, this might be the most epic community thought I have ever read in my entire life. Ever. Okay? I want you guys to sit back and you're going to hear a little tale about somebody who, um, 
I don't even know. I don't even know how to put this. I don't even know how to put it. It's just, it's too epic. It's a little story. Sit back, sit back and enjoy the tale. All right. So here's this. Legend says, had to poop, lost game, plus bonus morale. I was playing Hearthstone, drinking my morning coffee, when blammo, I felt a rumbling in my tummy, the likes of which could not be ignored. The game was close, but I was up about 10 health points, and I thought I could sprint to the john, plop one off with lightning fast speed, and be back before my opponent was the wiser. Boy, was I wrong. As I sat there, prairie dogging, the last bit of doo-doo from my innards, I was suddenly struck with the dreaded secondary shizzle, a number two to the second power, if you will. No, I thought to myself as I heaved and pushed like the little engine that could. I think I can. I think I can. I told myself as I pushed and pushed with every ounce of sphincter strength left in my body. Finally, with one loud, rapturous plop, I was freed of the beast from within. A quick wipe, more of a dusting really, and I was racing back to my screen. I felt lighter and ready for action. I burst into the door, only to be horrified by the last little bit of rope burning. Time slowed down. I dove for my computer mouse. It was in the tips of my fingers, fumbling, I tried to select a card, any card that could possibly hit the board in time. The end turn button flipped, 10-10 mana, sorry, my opponent spammed so kindly as he finished me off defeat. If there's anything to be learned by the tale of the treacherous number two, it's that you can't make it in the online gaming world if you aren't willing to poop yourself once in a while. So poop now, friends. Poop where you sit and clean it up later. Poop in your computer chairs, at your office desk, in line at Starbucks, on your tablets. Poop, friends. Poop. Otherwise, you'll be doomed to repeat the same fate as I. So, yeah. <laughs> was, was that not the most amazing community thought ever? Ever. Like <sighs> that guy needs a tablet, though. You that, got to it in there with him. It's true. It is true. It is true. So, anyways, I say back in, back in the... Back in the... In the Review thing. tab. I could crap myself and I still wouldn't make legend. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, well, oh, okay, well, all right, well, there you have it. Oh, boy. I'm going to look up some iTunes reviews here real quick, just to see if we got any. We haven't gotten any lately. Oh, golden douchebag. Let the hunt begin. I will fight with honor. I kind of want to keep, keep the owl. Yeah. If Sludge Belcher wasn't five mana, I would say keep that, but... Yeah. Guys, five-star reviews really help on iTunes. Um, help bump us up towards the top. People do searching for Hearthstone, stuff like that. Coin out the, mi the minibot. Yeah, for like a million times a night. Yep. Um... And it just it helps us out a ton, guys. So if it's something that you're interested, if you're watching this on iTunes, downloading it and taking us with you and watching us at your leisure on the fly throughout the day, helps. Iron right, Pickle that. Really? That's the yep. only silence we got, man. Don't care. We're doing it. Trading, obviously. Yep. If he plays that card, he doesn't play Explosive Trap. Um, instead he plays Freezing Trap, so we should be able to Freezing Trap the, uh, Iron Beak Owl. Or not. Oh, yeah. Play Shielded Minibot. Um, so Nathan, uh, Nathan brings up a good point in chat. He asked if you could replace Tyrion Fordering. You could replace him with something, like, bigger and probably better, but... But I don't think, like, with 
Paladin is so, like he's just such a good card. Ooh. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Uh, just no, no, just do it and go face. Um, you could replace him with something like big, like a Sunwalker, or you know, a bigger taunt. Maybe even Defender Vargas if you wanted to. I would play uh Yep. Mhm. Mm For justice. Just trade her all in. Yep. And then play uh Zombie Chow. He would have slammed time in if he had it. Oh, I guess you take longer than three seconds to do that. Uh, hit it with your face. This is Twiz's worst thing. I hate this. Yeah, it's, this is what Stutter does. Hey, you see that? You see that twenty nine fourteen? Hit it with your face. Okay. <laughs> hit it with your face, though. Justice. Right. Um, then trade in the two two mini bot. Totem up. Or, yeah, hero power up and consecrate. Yeah, consecrate. Reporting for duty. He probably doesn't want to play Freezing Trap or something like that because he wants that health out of that 2 3. Doesn't matter what he plays, we're going to steal it. Keys and Mystic. Keys and Mystic. The light does not Let's see what you had here, buddy. Ooh, Snake Trap. <laughs> um, I would L. No, no, don't L. Door. Do it up. Do it up. Yeah. I mean, it was pretty obviously Report Snake Trap. Two. And then trade the 2 2 into one of the three twos, yeah. Ah. Go face. The battle. I mean, next turn's pretty much Tyrion. I kind of wanted to Eldor Peacekeeper that, but I want, really want to save it for another high main. Oh, if he does what I think he's going to do. If he unleashes right now, that's going to be bad. Play Tyrion. Put mm -hmm. your faith in the light. And that's it, because we can't clear that four two, so we don't wanna we don't wanna make this trade. We could actually trade in three and one. Eh kind of sucks but it does prevent unleash yeah unleash would be w uh, would be horrible anything. but i think he would have played unleash last turn if he had it because he had i don't think we want to give him that i don't think we do because he would have played unleash last turn because then he would have been able to trade in the entire board and draw like a million but i guess we should play around it anyways um trade in four Then again, he did think about playing high main, so I'm not. I'm a little worried about what he's. Yeah, just go face with the one one. Yep. The battle. Play Sylvanas. I have no time for games. Should I Eldor that Eldor, five two? Yep, five two. Yep. Follow the rule. And then clear the uh, six or four three. Yep. Test me, child. I know it sucks because he's drawing like a million freaking cards. 
but I think we can win. Well, we have enough health return right now. What he has to do is he has to trade both into the Sylvanas right now. To even play a high main. That would have been a nice last turn. Yeah. I kind of want to lay on hands right now. Yeah, lay on hands. Oh, that's going to be good. Just, just hero power. Yep. Should I trade into the 4-3? Mmm. Kind of want to go face or trade in the 2-1. I kind of do want to trade in the 2-1. Two, one. Do 2-1. Do two, one. Two, one. Last warning. Yep. Because this makes him have to trade into the 1-1 one, one or else he's going to freezing trap or we're going to be able to test trap with the 1-1. One, one. So we'll be able to tell easily if it's um what it is. Snake trap. So I'm thinking knife juggler, muster for battle, sludge belcher. Oh. Double knife juggler. Oh, no, 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 no. Black knight that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, black knight that, yep. None. And then just play out knife juggler. And then just hero power. Reporting for duty. I like that a lot. He's thinking. Mm-hmm. Holy cow. Knife juggler. Must for battle. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Ah! Sludge Vulture. And attack his face with that. With what? The knife? Or the, yeah, the, the one four? Yep. For mm -hmm. justice. And don't attack his face with the four one. Don't do that. With the four five, you mean? So yeah, just end turn. Five. Yeah, we could attack it, but we have enough sustain that we won't have to live because we have the anti kill bot. Sun turn, yeah. Okay. Now, if he has unleashed, we're screwed. Maybe. You know he does. He drew more cards than a sneaking miracle robe. But still, him using kill command on that, he's gonna wipe the board. A mistake. Huh. Antique heal bot and sludge belcher. Yeah. Yep. Do that. And go face with the one. Yep. For justice. If I attack his face with the 4 5, does that trigger Snake Trap? No, it wouldn't, but I don't think it's Snake Trap. It's gotta be Freezing Trap. Nobody really plays two Freezing Traps. At rank 14, they do. Green skin! For the win. Play it. Yep. Play it. 
Go face to the four five. I'm invincible. Eldor Peacekeeper, the the two two. Yep. The Hero power. And go face with your dagger, Reporting or your duty. not your For dagger, justice. your one two. Life justice. Yep. Because he can't clear the five four, so he has we have lethal, so he has to taunt up. Yeah. But if he taunts up, he would just black knight it. Yeah. He knows this. He lost. Yeah. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh my god. Oh my god. The gold. There we so go. So that means, guys, that we are going to end this show with. Guess the legendary. I'm gonna get the chat room going. <laughs> yeah, guys. I I kept on saying dagger. I meant hammer. Hammer. But so, anyways, game. guys, this is this is some of the perks of being in the uh, the Hearthstone Power Hour chat room. And uh, basically, what I'm going to do is because I have the gold, I am going to buy a pack. Boom. If this particular pack has a le whoopsies, if this particular pack has a legendary in it, and you are in the the twitch.tv slash twizcast chat room, and you guess that legendary, I will furnish you with a twenty dollar Blizzard gift card. Things that help me out: being a patron of the Hearthstone Power Hour, patreon.com slash hs power hour, um, helps cover the cost of things like this. So you know it just keeps recirculating back to you guys. Oh man, thermal plug. Hemet, Sneeds, Flame Leviathan, Trogzor, Death, Hemet, Bolvar, Mogor, Gazlo, Antonias. All right, we're there. All right, all right, let's see what happens. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. It's telling you to play Demon Lack, though. Yeah, it is. Ooh. Epic. An epic crush. So, sorry guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, anyways, but uh, feel free um, feel free to, to uh, check out, uh, like I said, one last time, the patreon.com slash hspowerhour. And um, let's see here. I will be, actually, every, you know what, I screwed the pooch on this because every week we are supposed to have a winner for a one-hour session of, uh, of coaching from Stutter. Um, I'm a little behind the power curve, guys, because I have, I just was out of town for five days. So, anyways, we will have, we will be announcing winners every week um, for those who, who donate um, uh, $5 or more to the, uh, uh, to the Patreon account. So, um, Anyways, uh, and again, computers, guys, we're giving away doghouse systems, all right? There's a whole blurb that tells you all about it on that particular website as well. So, um, let's see here. Stutter, good deck, dude. Had fun. A lot of instant concedes, which always helps. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does help. That's for so, certain. I uh, mean, I wish we would won that 100 game, but at the same time, that's life. It's true. You, you, you can't. Play to, you play... You play your cards and you throw your stuff down and it doesn't go your way and <laughs> and, and then you become from Michigan and or Canada. That's what it yeah. is, Canada. Really? In... I feel like that's like a football coach thing. It's like, yeah, you play your I don't know. You run the ball back over there in the downfield there and uh sometimes you win it and sometimes uh you don't, you know, it all, it all depends on how you're gonna run it, you know? <laughs> that's the Canadian football league. <laughs> that's right. The Canadian for the CFL. So yeah, anyways. The CFL. Uh, <laughs> guys, I once heard John Madden say this is completely off topic. I once heard for those of you who don't know who John Madden is, John Madden is a famous football announcer who is a moron. Uh, <laughs> but uh, he's a no, moron that's he, making a lot more money than we'll ever see. He, it's true, but he literally, I swear to God, I heard him say the team with the most points is going to win. Oh this yeah, game. yeah, yeah, exactly. Dude. Yeah, that's like a famous thing. Yeah, he, yeah people are like, really, John. <laughs> Really? Uh, I think to Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. That's hilarious. So, <laughs> anyways, all right, guys, check us out Monday nights, twitch.tv slash twizcast, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time, 10, pre, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific, and tomorrow night, if you guys are Heroes of the Storm fanatics, we have the Heroes Power Hour, okay? Both are available on iTunes and YouTube, the BlizzPro YouTube channel. Go to iTunes, search BlizzPro. Go to YouTube, search BlizzPro. You're going to find the Power Hours there. 
uh, but Tuesday night, same bat, same bat time, same bat channel. Um, we're going to be doing some league, and we've got another guest host coming up. So um, lots of exciting stuff there. Stutter, anything, uh, any words of wisdom uh, before we before we rock on out here? Just show up tomorrow night. It'll be a great time. That's what I'm screaming. That is what I'm screaming, dude. So, all right, guys. So uh, until next week, please remember, uh, no matter what happens, do not any un- under any circumstances whatsoever uh, take laxatives and sleeping pills at the same time. Take care. <laughs>